Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek of the lesson on Mermaid. I'm going to do exercise one. And with Mermaid you can make graphs like, for example, this mind map or this flowchart. But here we're going to do exercise one. So exercise one is about what do you associate with the word graphs? Go to mermaid.life and create a mind map with the word graphs in the center. Avoid using the word mind map. What are the features of a mermaid mind map? And what happens if you do use the word mind map in your mind map? So let's do that. Let's go to this URL. And we need to create a mind map. And uh, where do I get them? So they're under sample diagrams. You click mind map. Ah, and now we have a mind map. So what do I need to do? So the indentation seems important. I guess root is what what is at the center. Graphs, yeah, that works perfectly well. And origins is there. So graphs, I think, are like like figures. Ah, yeah. So the up. So, so this icon, I don't need this. And then the, the indentation means what's there. So it's like A, B, C. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, so, so I'm just simplifying the graph here, D, E, and F. All right, I can get this to work. So graphs are figures. Um, they need some neat information, um, but also some do not need extra information. For example, this is a mind map that doesn't need extra information. Um, there are multiple types. Yeah, so graphs are figures, uh, types. Ah, oh, that works exactly. Uh, a mind map is a graph. Ah, yeah, of course you cannot use this. Because, probably because this word mind map is, is like reserved. It's a, it's part of the this language. Um, so I call it a concept map instead. Concept map. Uh, and I call a flow chart, it's a graph, um, but we also have like a scatter plot. Actually, all sample diagrams at mermaid.live. Does it work? Mermaid.live. Uh, yes, sure. So, graphs are figures. I, I, that, that's enough. Some need information, sometimes do not information. Um, maybe I should make this into information need, information need. Need information, do not need information. So, so this is more. Need extra information. Yeah, so I think it, it so what the goal of, of graphs um show information visually yeah so i think this is what i think about graphs now at this moment so how did it work let's go back to the questions what are features of a mermaid mind map well it's like you have to use two spaces maybe four yeah, more works too you need to use an amount of spaces for the indentation. Um, the word mind map is forbidden and it will give an error mind map here we see. Probably other things are forbidden as well. Let's do something like uh, like this. Uh, tick tick. Yeah here. So so square braces are forbidden. And there are some limitations there. Alright, so that answers the first question. What are features of a mermaid mind map? I think that it's easy to use. You use indentation for um, for th for the structure. You don't need it. It's very natural how this th this structure works. It is a tree-like structure. A mind map is a tree-like structure. Your text follows a tree-like structure. Um, square br uh, block braces don't work. The the the, the, the index braces. How do you call these? Don't work. Maybe round braces don't work. Yeah. So there are some things that don't work. And if you use the word mind map in your mind map, then it will give an error. 
So here I have completed lesson one, um, exercise one of my lesson on mermaid. Um, I hope this makes it easier for you to do too. And I wish you a very good day. Bye.